Shabbat Shalom, yes, Shabbat First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechav Adash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the Ophel Akim that's preached the word in all truth and sincerity. Alone should Israelite foreign brothers that are like the heathens. But the line of the side goes back to the nation of Israel. Which nation of Israel are you so called Negroes? Latinos and Native Americans through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is about the call, a mock, like a lesson. And now today's lesson will be entitled uh, Righteousness Delivered from Death. I'm just going to go on some precepts and uh, Lord willing, you brothers and your sisters out there be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. You know, and um, I'm going to start with the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, and verse 4. And it reads, uh, Riches profit not in the day of wrath. Right. You know, because when all hell break loose, when Jacob's trouble come to America, you know, none of these riches that these people have is going to profit them. You know, such as the FRA notes, the paper notes, the dollar bills, you know, the gold, the silver, you know, uh, you know, coins, you know, Bitcoin, you know, 401k pension plans. You know, none of those things are going to profit you in a day of Yahweh Shemoshai's wrath, you see. But it says, but righteousness delivered from death, right? So, you know, by you being part of the elect, you know, because ultimately, um, you know, if you were chosen, if you're a part of the elect, you were chosen, before the foundation of the world, then, you know, the Lord, that will mean the Lord deemed you as righteous, you know, but in the last days, the elect will have um, uh, works, you know, to justify their faith, you know, they will have works in righteousness and the truth, you see, and what will be some of those works, you know, um, when you go to Romans 12 and verse 1, it says, I beseech you, brethren, uh, I'm sorry, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Right. And how do you present your bodies a living sacrifice? You know, by going out on the highways and byways, uh, teaching the truth, you know, and also, you know, sacrificing your time and your effort, you know, in the Lord, you know, uh, you know, studying and, and, and praying to the Lord, you know, doing lessons, you know, sacrificing your time and do lessons. Throughout the day, um, you know, every day, day by day, you know, um, and many other things, man. It says, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh. So this is what the Lord accepts. You know, it says, which is your reasonable service. Right. So, you know, what's in the last days, the elect will be doing this, you know, once they come in the truth and repent. You know, and this is righteousness uh, with the Most High, you know. Because another scripture, First Corinthians one twenty one, but after that, in the wisdom of Yahweh, the the world of wood, the world by wisdom knew not the Most High, because the people of this world, um, they don't they don't know the Most High, you know, because the God of this world has has uh has deceived them, you know, which the God of this world is Esau Edom, you know, they, they, they he deceived these people of the world with technology, with convenience, you know, data, st uh, statistic. Um, algorithms uh, to the point when people don't even want to know about the Most High, you know. But it says it, it says it pleased Yahweh by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe, you know, right? So the Lord Yahweh by Shimon Shai is pleased through the foolishness of preaching, you know, to save them the the elect uh, for those that believe, the elect that believe, you know. So. Because when we go out on the highways and byways, we look foolish to people, you know. But guess what? This is pleasing unto Yahweh by Shimon Shai, man, you know. But uh, going back to Proverbs 11, before I read it again, uh, Richard's prophet, not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death, right? So um, by you being righteous, you know, ultimately being part of the elect is how you're going to be delivered from death, from Jacob's trouble, from their, uh, the second death, you know, when the icy bear missiles destroy America, you know, because, you know, um, 
the elect, like I was saying earlier, as it says in Ephesians 1, in verse 4, I saw verse 3, it says, Blessed be Yahweh and the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shammashiach, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Yahweh Shai, according as he had um, chosen us chosen us, and before the foundation of the world. So, right, so before the heavenly Father Yahweh formed or uh, created the whole world, the universe, he already chose and he already handpicked his elect, you know. It says, you know, the, uh, the elect, the 144,000, you know, says that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, right? So, ultimately, if you're a part of the elect, you were chosen before the foundation of the world. That's ultimately how you're going to be delivered, you know, because it's not a works. It's about being chosen by Yahweh Shemal Shai. But in the last days, the elect will have works because Yahweh Shai said um, that a tree is known by its fruit, you know, um, a man is known by uh, the tree represents the individual and the fruit represents the works, you know, so a man may be known by his works, you know, and the works that the elect will have will be this, Galatians 2 and 16, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, because, you know, now, now this doesn't mean that we don't keep the law, you know, we still... As Apostle Paul, we still establish the law, but we know that the law is not going to save us. You know, it says, but by the faith of Yahweh Shai, even we have believed in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, that we might be justified by the faith of Yahweh Shai, and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Yes, because we ought to, um, um, I believe it's Galatians 3 and 10, um, if you break one law, then you're guilty of all. You know, um, let's see, uh, I come back to that scripture though. So that's how we're not, you know, um, justified by the law. Because if we break one law, as it says in James 2 and 10, for whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend, which means a sin, in one part, in, in one point, we didn't break one law. He is guilty of all. Yeah, so that's how we're not justified by the law because if you break one law, then we're guilty of all. And this law is here. And this law is here. We can't we can't, you can't keep all the laws of Yahweh Bashmon Shai here. You know, so that's why we're justified through faith in Yahweh Shai. And what is the faith in Yahweh Shai? You know, doing the work, man, of feeding the Lord's sheep, you know, by preaching the gospel. You see? Because that's what Apostle, um, that's what he told Apostle, uh, Apostle Peter, you know, um, St. John 21 and 15. So when they had dined, Yahweh Shai said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs, you know, which the lambs. You know, it's symbolic for the nation of Israel, also known as the sheep. He said to him again a second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. You know, he said unto him a third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said to him a third time, Lovest thou me? And he said to him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shah said to him, feed my sheep, right? So and that's how you love the Lord, by the way, through action, you know, by feeding the Lord's sheep, the nation of Israel, beginning on with the elect, with the word, you know? And, you know, it began in in, in this era, you know, with, um, with Abba Bimans, you know, which was Elijah the prophet coming back in the reincarnation, you know, trickling down to um, the high priest Ariah, you know, uh, King Masha, High Priest Jaquab, you know, to our apostles, the elders of Great Millstone now, you know, to us brothers, younger brothers in the faith, you know. So this is what, uh, this is a faith in Yahweh Shai, feeding the Lord's sheep, you know, because it takes great faith to do what we do, you know, beginning with our apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, to go out and teach the word with great boldness on the hours and byways and do our daily sit downs. This, this this is great faith. 
you know. And but this is what the Lord required require of us, you see. So, um, when you go to Second Andrews nine and verse seven, and everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works, and by faith whereby you have believed. See, so, so that's what the elect will have in the last days, you know, and that's how they will be able to escape the wrath to come by their works and Yahweh Shai which is keeping the lost commandments to the best of your ability, rehearsing the righteous acts, you know, keeping the high holy days, you know, the Sabbath, um, you know, the uh, the Passover, you know, the um, Day of Atonement, you know. Um, it says, and by faith, whereby ye have believed. So, so right, so faith and works go hand in hand, you know. So the elect will have, Faith and works, you know, because they believe in Yahweh Bashim Shai. And hence why the Lord will deliver them because they were faithful. You know, they 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 did, they were obedient unto what the Lord told them to do. You know, it says verse eight shall be preserved from the said perils. You know, perils, you look it up. Um to mean serious or uh, in immediate danger, right? And not take a trouble. But the elect gonna be preserved from that. And let's look up preserved, which I I already know what the words mean, but just for edification. You know, um preserve, main, maintain something in its original or existing state, right? And that's what the Lord's gonna do with his elect. You know, he's gonna maintain, he's gonna keep his um his elect protected. Now it is written that some of the elect, according to Revelation twenty and four. Will have to die in the Lord by not taking the MOTB, but their works do pass. Uh, their their works do follow them, and they will be the one the the brothers that die in the faith. They will be risen up first in the chariots of Israel. So it's a win-win situation, you know. But for the most part, the elect gonna be delivered, you know, uh, via the chariots of Israel, the so-called UFOs when they get beamed up. It says shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land. So you let, they're going to see the salvation. And within my borders, for I have sanctified, which means cleansed or set apart them for me from the beginning, which only applies to the elect, as we had read earlier in Ephesians 1 and 4. You know, so the Lord has chosen his elect, cleansed, set apart, you know, his elect from the beginning. You know, for them to believe in him and the Lord, hence why they will be saved. You know, and the rest of the two thirds of Israel, the wicked Israelites, they're going to die here in America, man. You know, according to Zechariah 13 8, you know, and, and the Lord not going to uh, have pity on them because they didn't repent. You know, so, so yeah, I just want to make a lesson on that. Lord willing, I was edified. And until uh, next time, Shalom.